Welcome back. An historic evening last night. Judge Amy Coney Barrett sworn in as the youngest Supreme Court justice at the White House. In a ceremony last night following a successful 52 to 48 Senate vote, Joe Biden has ruled out changing term limits, meanwhile, but says he'll have a commission look at what changes could be made to the country's highest court. Take a listen. There is a question about whether or not it's a lifetime appointment. I'm not going to attempt to change that at all. There's some literature among constitutional scholars about the possibility of going from one court to another court, not just always staying the whole time in the Supreme Court. But I have made no judgment, my word. My word is about made no judgment. They're just a group of serious constitutional scholars, have a number of ideas how we should proceed from this point on. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to give them 180 days, God willing, if I'm elected, from the time I'm sworn in to be able to make such a recommendation. Joining me right now is former Obama Director of Press Advance and Global Situation Room CEO jo Johanna Mars Maska and Republican National Committee spokesperson Liz Harrington. Great to see you both, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Joanna, what do you think we are going to hear from Joe Biden as it relates to the court, the Supreme Court? Yeah, I think Joe yeah, Joe Biden has a point, right? The Republicans had eight months to um, hear the nomination of Merrick Garland under President Obama's tenure, and they refused. And now, with eight days before the election, they've pushed through a Supreme Court nominee. And, you know, it really reeks of uh, trying to steal political power. And I don't think any American wants our justice to be political. We want justice for Americans to be the in the rights of the American people. And so because this reeks so much of political power, I think it's it's high time that Republicans and Democrats who believe in justice for the American people come together and analyze how we can actually do better together for the American people. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it reeks of political power at all, actually. I think what would reek of political uh, intervention would be if Joe Biden stacks the court with liberals. That would reek of politics, for sure. Uh, well, no, they've actually, they, they held a Supreme Court uh, seat until they had power, and then they packed the court as soon as they had power. So, I mean, Kamala Harris made no, this point. No, they didn't point. pack the court. You know, the that, whole that's idea incorrect. of court that's packing, incorrect. expansion. That, that, they didn't pack the court at all. No. I, I understand that the Democrats are upset that this president will end up being one of the most consequential presidents of our time because he was able to appoint three Supreme Court uh, 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 seats. I understand that. But that's not packing the court. That happens to be the fact that President Trump no, was it in is. power. No, it is. It is. And, and available the court. to— no, it's not. It's just, it's not. They did not expand the court. There have been nine uh, Supreme Court justices since 1880. Nine. There has never been more than nine justices. We still have nine since 1880. Right. They're not so packing you're talking the court. about expanding Liz the court. your reaction. The Republicans They're not expanding the, the court. They're not the, expanding the court. They didn't expect the court, nor did they expand the court. It's been nine Supreme Court justices since 1880, and that's where it is today. Liz Harrington, jump in. And they well, they left it this at is eight not, for eight months. Following the Constitution is not uh, packing the Supreme Court. You're absolutely right, Maria. And it was a history-making day yesterday. The first working mother to ever sit on the Supreme Court, someone who loves the Constitution and loves the United States of America. And what did Chuck Schumer, Chuck Schumer say? It was a, one of America's darkest days. That's how poisonous Democrats have become with their politics. And now you not only have the leader of the Democrats in the Senate and the House and the nominee for president on the Democrat side, all open to blowing up the judicial branch just because they didn't get their way, just because they lost elections and elections have consequences. While Republicans follow through on the promises we make to the American people, and we also follow the Constitution. That's why we filled that seat with the most qualified nominee we've seen in generations. And we know Justice Amy Coney Barrett is going to be a phenomenal uh, justice, associate justice on the Supreme Court. Let me move on, because there are some With real all... moves in the swing states right now, Joanna. USA Today poll averages shows President yeah. Trump has gained ground in nine out of the 12 swing states, including Arizona, Florida, Ohio. Joe Biden is still holding on to a lead in most states and has made gains in Texas, Iowa, and Michigan. But 
Are we seeing a repeat of what we saw in 2016, Joanna, where Joe Biden is not going to some of the important states? He's, uh, at, at, you know, t putting a lid on it many days while the president is out speaking directly to voters. Uh, can Joe Biden win this, even with it the fact that you are seeing this uh, turnout for President Trump increasingly? Oh, absolutely. Joe, Joe Biden can absolutely win this. Um, just with all due respect, Liz, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was also a working mother. And so I am thrilled to see more mothers get power. But I don't think President Trump did her any favors. And I don't think he's done any of the American people any favors. I mean, we're in a situation where we've got more than 200,000 deaths because of his inaction on the coronavirus. And so um, well, I don't think really President his Trump inaction expected because it was Joe Biden, uh, Iowa, it was Joe Texas, Biden who Georgia, called to be Joanna. In. Yeah. Joanna. They're all in It play. was Joe Biden who said, Joanna, it was Joe Biden who said President Trump cutting off travel from China was xenophobic. That was Joe Biden who said that. When he also President said Trump cutting off travel from Trump 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 Trump